Ryan Gallagher and this is my vlog about my buy behaviour. In this vlog I'm going to be talking about two products which I have recently purchased. I'm also going to include some theory about why I purchased those products. The products I'm going to be using is a Lucasade energy drink and a pair of trainers by Nike. Before we start, I'll just go over what is marketing. Marketing is the management process which is responsible for identifying, anticipating and satisfying customer needs while doing all of this profitably. Customer buying behaviour. Customer buying behaviour is where consumers dispose and purchase goods and services in a way to satisfy our needs and wants. These are different types of purchases and situations that consumers may find themselves in on a daily basis. This is routine problem solving. This is a purchase which is low involvement and low risk. It's usually something which has been bought a few times before. It's usually an impulse purchase or something which is bought on a daily basis. Another type of purchase is limited problem solving. This is a purchase which requires medium to low involvement and carries a relatively low risk. It's not something which has necessarily been bought before, but it could be a product by a certain brand which has been purchased before. Another type of purchase is extended problem solving. An extended problem solving purchase is a high involvement purchase and therefore carries a high risk because it usually requires a lot of time to be put into the thought process whether it's the right product and it usually costs a lot of money. It's usually a one-off purchase which is a, a laptop or a bike. It's not something that's bought all the time. So the first the product that I'm going to be talking about is a pair of trainers which I have recently purchased from Nike. I'm going to use the theory of planned behaviour to help me explain why I purchased this product. This theory is made up of five different parts. So the first point is going to be attitude. When I was purchasing the trainers, I had a very positive attitude towards Nike as another very well represented brand in the media and they have lots of celebrity endorsement. Also, I have purchased from Nike in the past and I was very happy with my purchase at the time. The second part, the theory of planned behaviour, is subjective norms and am I expected by my peers to buy a new pair of trainers when mine become a bit worse for wear? I felt like this was the case so when I noticed that my trainers were coming a bit old, I decided to start looking for some new ones. The next part of the theory of planned behaviour is perceived behavioural control. And this is the idea that the consumer believes that they are in control of their buying behaviour. So then it really just comes down to, do I need a new pair of trainers or do I just want some? These three key parts of the theory all lead up to intention. And what intention means is, am I really ready to actually go out and make the purchase and buy these new trainers? The final stage of the theory of planned behaviour is behaviour. And it's my behaviour and me actually going out and making the purchase of these new trainers. Another product which I recently purchased is a Lucasaid energy drink. This product fits into the routine purchase category and it's something that only cost me £1.50. So it's therefore low involvement and low investment and therefore gives me a low risk. It's something which I bought many times before. I'm going to be linking this routine purchase to the business to consumer decision making process. This process is made up of six different stages. So the decision making process begins with problem recognition. So I realised that I had a problem and that was I needed a drink and I needed something that was going to wake me up a bit before my morning lecture. The second stage in this process is the information search. This is where the consumer surveys their surrounding environment and gathers all the appropriate data which is going to help them make a reasonable decision. I did this by looking at the drinks fridge in Morrison's and assessing which drinks they had to offer and which one was going to fit my needs the best, eventually narrowing it down to a few products. Is the information evaluation. This is where the consumer identifies alternative products and compares them against an evaluative criteria before making a decision. In this instance, I was comparing Monster Energy against Lucasaid as they were both energy drinks. In the end, we went with Lucasaid because it was in a bottle and I could reseal it for later if I wanted to. Product choice. So I chose Lucasade as it fit my criteria and it was a better choice over the alternatives. Stage five is the post-purchase evaluation. Did the product which I purchased satisfy my needs and wants as a consumer? It did, I was very happy with the product. It gave me the energy which I was looking for and I would definitely buy it again. Stage six is the final stage of the business to consumer decision making process. And this is where the consumer gets to give feedback on the product which they have purchased. Thank you very much for watching. This has been my vlog about my buyer behaviour.